are. Um, my hair's still slightly wet. I've washed it, um, towel dried it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be drying my hair with a blow dryer. I just don't feel as though I should be um, using heat on my hair for the time being. Um, I'm trying to let my hair um, repair its repair because it's in a pretty bad condition. So yeah, that's the reason why it's wet. Anyhow, um, let me talk you through what I've done so far. Um, I've moisturised everything like that. I'm buying this tea tree by Body Shop. It's for blemishes. So um, if your skin has BLs and you know broken veins and things like that, then this will just help to reduce the appearance of those damaged areas. So as I'm applying this, I'm looking into the mirror that I have next to my computer. So taking that down the neck. Oh, it smells so lovely. It really is refreshing. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of this yellow. This also helps neutralize it helps to neutralize the um, red areas and I do have a lot of red um, pigmentation in my skin which is quite annoying I'm thinking actually I'm gonna mix this in with my foundation and then instead of applying it um, from products because sometimes I do make the mistake of applying the yellow and it's just too yellow after putting on the foundation because in this foundation which I have here it's by number seven this is the one I'm going to be applying on my face it's quite um, yellow there is it is yellow based and most of my foundations are because it just helps reduce the redness in my skin and I'm mixing it with this um, this is a cheap one this is a super drug and um, this one's from Boots I believe or oh, it's yeah it's brand is 17 so yeah I'm gonna 50 50 and have a little bit of that yellow in so just mixing it on my hand here using my hand as a palette and then I'm gonna just start working it into my skin. I'm slightly positioned awkward here because I'm trying to see what I'm doing in the mirror. And also trying to allow you guys to see what's going on as well. And by the way, I may look pale, but I've got this foundation stick here, which is a nice colour. I was thinking it works well whilst it's here in front of me. So I'm using this stick and I'm going to highlight any areas you highlight your base is going to bring forward um, so uh, I want to say I have the most smallest nose in the world um, I don't really want to make it any bigger than what it is but I do want to make it thinner so I'm going to do a little line down the middle there and try and get it in the middle of course and that isn't centre but I'll be able to fix that up later and make my cheekbones come out. I'm gonna also put a bit there and brow bone and just divide my lip there, my bow. Yeah, so any, any parts of your face you want to bring out and obviously highlight and put it there. 
Okay, and I'm going to get my, whoopsie daisy, my foundation brush and then just blend, blend it out. I mean, there are many different ways you can contour some people, some makeup artists start off by um, applying the highlight and the shadow, then going in with the base colour and the base foundation, meaning the foundation you used all over the face and then blending it in. I mean, I don't limit myself. I always change and take different approaches when it comes to applying my makeup. I mean, so I'm gonna use my index finger for this. And this is Lemonade. Love this. And I'm just gonna apply it under my eyes. Oh. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the eyes. I just bought a load of brushes and I've come to the conclusion that it's best to pick out the ones that you use the most and stick with them. Otherwise, you just get really confused when coming to apply your eyeshadow. It's like, oh, I don't know which brush to use. And you end up just using so many that there was no, there's really no point having specific brushes for certain areas. You just start going in with that and then in with another one. But um, I definitely like using this brush. It's like a pencil brush. It gets thinner at the end. And, sorry, just My sisters. Um, yeah, so a pencil brush is always good. I don't really recommend this brush. I tend to not use this at all, but yet yeah, I have it in front of me, so I most surely end up using it because of convenience. I can't even find my other brushes, which is how I bothered a few brushes to my sister because um, she's got a Mac. What do you call it? She's had the interview. There's two. Um, when it comes to applying for a job for Mac, you go through this process and you have an interview. Why am I telling you big guys? But yeah, I like to think those of you who watch my videos are interested in makeup in general. So maybe you might be interested. Um, yeah, so you have the interview of the phone and she passed that. Then you have a face-to-face -face interview, she passed that, and now she's got to like do a demonstration of how she applies makeup, and she wants to look professional and everything like that, so I've borrowed a few brushes to her, um, for her. And yeah, <sighs> look at this, seriously. Anyhow, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking, because I'm making myself late, I'm late, I'm late. Okay, I'm going to be using this Estee Lauder palette and they've got some beautiful shades in there and they're all very neutral apart from these over here but they're still like, um, I don't know, they're not really bright but colours. So, I'm going to use this fluffy brush here and it's by Emily. And this bronzer is MU. There we go. So I'm going to pick up my little mirror and tap off the excess and take that into my crease and just a window wiper motion. Oh, you know we are the 
until you create some depth. So my brushes wasn't clean and it's made it a little bit more darker than what the colour actually was, than what, than what the shade was. It doesn't matter because I'm still happy with that. And yeah, and then when you get to the outer corner here, you want to just do like a circle of motion and then blend it. What brushes I can use and I'm gonna get this dark shade here this shade here so I guess I'm going for like the smoky eye look and apply that across my Um, lash line just on the top don't want it underneath and yeah and then apply um, a little bit of this shade here this eyeshadow here what has a slight shimmer in it the one that I just applied across my lid is completely matte so there's no shimmer whatsoever and I'm going to put that just on the outer corner of my eyelid and blend it in with this line that I just put across So this is definitely a smoky look and be, um, whenever you put like a shadow across the lash line it creates a smouldering effect and it's nice to have that under the eyeliner and it makes the eyeliner look more um, have more dimension to it but it's not flat so it's not so um, I don't know contrast again when it comes to um, <laughs> smoky eyes you don't want contrast you want it blended There's lots of blending happening Taking that in there, it's matte colour with a tiny bit of a shimmery colour, and now I'm going to apply that on the top there. Like this, pat on. on. See, my sister's um, taken the only brush that I do really love, and it's this big fluffy brush. And fluff, big rough, fluffy brushes are brilliant for blending the transition colour in with um, the lid and the brow area. So just going in between there. There we are. Okay, great. Now, there's a little bit of pink in this brush. Um, yeah. I'm going to apply this gel eyeliner to my eyes now by Avon Super Shark. Okay, so I don't know if you noticed that I just used my hand to take the excess off. And now I'm going to go in and just apply this. long my lash line and as you may have noticed it's not jet black it's actually got a little shimmer in there and 
it's quite a nice soft eyeliner to be using but it's got shimmering so that gives it that little bit of drama same with the other eye and using that previous line that we created with the shadow you've got a little bit of a guideline and I always would suggest for those who are not good at applying um, eyeliner is to apply a pencil underneath then go over top with the gel because once you make a mistake with gel you can't really budget it so this is um, a MAC Studio Fix powder or is it a yeah so I'm going to take this just into the hollows of my chin and as you already know darker shades will give dimension to the face and add depth so I'm taking this area back this area is coming forward with the highlight this is going back now and I feel as though my chin is sticking out a little bit too much so I'm gonna just pour a little bit of that dark shade and I'm gonna go into the hollows of my neck right hopefully the time I've got around completing this look you'll be able to see exactly what it looks like because the light is so bad so as you can see I'm really like pushing this into my skin I'm being gentle with it don't think I'm dragging my skin like ugh, like pushing I'm you know I'm just using what the brush is made to do it's on an angle, so we're taking it in at an angle. And anyhow, this is L'Oreal Superliner Brow Artist, and it's in the shade. Da, 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 da. I'll put all of this in the link. Okay, so I'm gonna follow um, the way my hair grows naturally to fill in my brows. And I love this brow pencil because um, well comparing it to the others that I've used it's a perfect um, blonde I have really light hair I do my roots are slightly dark because that's the natural color of my hair it's a dark blonde um, but I don't want to match my brows up with this colour, otherwise it would just, I would look as though I don't have any brows. Um, and that's the thing, a lot of the blonde um, pencils that I've used in the past are so light you can't even, like it doesn't even create a shape, it's just like there's nothing there. I mean, yes, it does add, but realistically, it doesn't. Okay, so, pretty thin in these brows. I must make this video must be forever long. This video must be seriously long. I don't know who, like, you have to let me know, do you appreciate long videos? because I do like to take my time and I'm trying to keep it on. So, I don't know if you noticed, I've got to extend my brows ever so slightly inwards. As long as you don't come too far in, 
like just don't go s um, anymore in the left point there where your eye and where your nose ends. Yeah. Now I'm gonna just use a little bit of this. Um, the mascara is Bad Benefit, and it's this. Um, they're real by benefit and I do really like the brush on this because it's little and got a lot of control can get it right in work it into the lash line so now I'm moving on to blush gonna take this Christian Dior Rosy Glow, it's in finish now, look at the state of it, I mean it's broken and everything, but totally recommend it, it is from Lux Wonders, it's amazing, it's the best blush I've ever used in my whole freaking life, oops, and I'm 25, oh 24, I'm sorry, I don't know why, I did another year on there, yeah. If they bring out a better blush than that, then wow, it's off to them. Okay, so can you see? Oh my god, light key off. Look, look, look. It's coming in. See, let me block that. So you can actually see. Where is that light coming from? Obviously it's coming from above me, but it's just like there, can you see that? Ah, there it is, there, there, see my makeup looks so much better, Ugh. look and now it's all highlighting, well at least you actually can, I'm just going to tell you something now because this is gonna help you guys where the sun naturally hits your face which is here as you can see and here and here and here you want to highlight number seven uh, what's the name of it nude nice nude color nice nude color okay so gonna go on the outer edge of my lips uh, I've got quite big lips so I'm not gonna go over the edge like some people do take the line slightly like just out the edge make the lips look bigger I'm not gonna do that I don't think it's necessary okay now I'm gonna get the and just put that all over my lips and then I'm gonna lighten it up matte lipsticks which is myth and use a lipstick brush for precision and file over the top of my all products will be listed below so you can get the proper look right I'm thinking of picking up this Mac computer and moving it so let's make it a little bit better. so my hair is a mess I have no serum on it, nothing like that, and I think I may just style my hair so you can see the overall look because the hair, the hair always makes a big difference to makeup. So it's barely been brushed through um, about just before I started this video. 
and it started to um, naturally section itself like the hair's gone a little bit more piece piecey that makes sense so it's not all brushed together which are that's exactly what I want my head to do because I'm going for like beach look and then I'm gonna get rid of the um, frizz by spraying some of this John Frieda frizzes over the top of it over the top and obviously some of the middle there so this is just going to take away any of the frizz and like I mentioned er earlier <coughs> God I sprayed that in my mouth I, <coughs> I don't want to be putting any heat on my hair because it is over processed by bleach and yeah I just don't want to be doing that so once that's in get your hands and start scrunching the hair so I'm here but where my hair is quite dry which I think that's a little bit too much but my hair is quite thick so yeah I'm gonna take the end of the hair get some at the front there and just keep scrunching it if you apply too much product your hair will go flat but that's when you need to bring the hair dryer out but um I'm not using that hair dryer no way I want my hair to get better okay so there we go guys I'm finished and I'm so glad that the sun's gone down because now you can see what I look like I've done the whole makeup tutorial and basically you can't see nothing <laughs> that's a bit shit look here comes that killer sun just fucking kill me off why don't you there we go so I look nuts <laughs> now guys this is the sexy and it's very super quick look at that look at that so that's the final look I really hope you enjoyed watching me doing this makeup tutorial and definitely subscribe if you did because I need subscribers otherwise not really worth me making these videos so thumbs 